Hi, my name is Prashant Santan. I'm leading R&D department in Signet Armolite. As all of us know, our exposure to the high energy visible light has exponentially increased in the last 10 years. This high energy visible light can cause eye fatigue and uh, digital stain. To solve this problem, optical industry has developed blue light filters. There are two main technologies to produce this blue light filter. One is in mass, second AR coating. In mass technology, we add pigments inside the lens material to block certain portion of UV and high energy visible light. In AR technology, we reflect the certain portion of the high energy visible light from the front surface of the lenses. Signet Armolite has developed hybrid technology by combining in mass and AR coating together. These lenses perform very well to filter high energy visible light. But unfortunately, in optical industry, there is no agreed standard on blue light filter. To overcome this problem, we have developed the demo unit to understand the performance of one lens versus other and understand the benefits and advantage and disadvantage of one product or another. This is the demo unit we have developed. This is a simple spectrophotometer with some light source. This light source is a sun simulator. So the emission spectrum of this light is equal to average sun spectrum, which we receive on the earth. Two mannequins representing ourselves, and uh, they have the optical lenses, crystalline lenses, which is made of the glass and fiber optics cable behind the, these lenses connected to the spectrophotometer. This spectrophotometer data is is represented in a graphical format on these two big screens. If you block the light path going to the spectrophotometer, the data will change. As you can see in both of these screens, as I block the light, the spectral data has been uh, modified. The bottom two screens are showing the percentage of light filtered between 380 to 440 nanometer. This portion of the light between 380 to 440 is a major cause of blinding glare and eye, the digital eye strain. Let's look at the performance of CR39 lens with a regular AR. Once I put this lens on the top of the mannequin, you will see the spectral data has changed. As you can see, the CR39 lens are not even blocking UVA and very little high energy visible light. Look at the, pro the filtration of high energy visible light between 380 to 440 is only 13.6%. Now let's look at the performance of total blue lenses. You can see on the second screen, they are blocking almost 100% of UVA and significant portion of high energy visible light. If you look at the high energy visible light filtration between 380 to 440 nanometer, you will see almost 87.6% of the light has been filtered out. Let's look at this performance of total blue lenses with the pigmented lenses. These are the lenses manufactured by using in mass pigmented technology. As you can see, they have a residual yellow color uh, on the lenses. You can see the, the spectral data, almost 100% of the UVA has been filtered uh, on these lenses and a significant amount of high energy visible light has been filtered. The number of high energy visible light filtration is 79.6%, which is 6 to 7% less than the total blue lenses. The point here we have to see is the color of the lenses. Pigmented lenses has a residual yellow color, whereas total blue lenses are clear. Let's look at the performance of only AR coating lenses. As you can see, they are not even close to blocking 100% of the UVA and very little percentage of high energy visible light has been blocked. Number on the filtration is only 45.8%. After looking at the performance of these four uh, lenses, 
including in mass AR only and hybrid technology, we believe the Kodak Total Blue lenses are the best filtration in high energy visible light as they are offering you 100% of the UV protection plus 80, 80, 86%, 80 to 86% of the high energy visible light filtration and with no residual color.